one, Scott Smith here with Aspen Avionics checking in with you at flight level 250. Want to give you a briefing over the uh, Aspen EFD 1000 Pro and kind of go over some key features here. So I'm going to start off on the upper left hand side and let's go over the airspeed tape which is right here and on that airspeed tape we put uh, also your V speeds. You can, you can turn those on and off as you like. Uh, we also have a little window up here which is a, a bug that you set for your reference only and we use that for things like uh, approach, a speed, or uh, like a takeoff departure speed. Uh, come over the middle here, nice big attitude indicator. Notice we give you a line every two and a half degrees instead of every five so the uh, it's a lot larger uh, presentation and it's also a lot more precise and at first you'll notice a lot of movement on there but after you get used to it it's uh, quite a powerful uh, tool. Over here on our altimeter tape and uh, the top here is what your uh, altitude bug is set to in this case uh, 25,000 feet and what's nice about that so if ATC gives you a uh, altitude change you reach down here push in on the knob that a couple tabs and taps and then you can set in whatever altitude you want. Once you get 15 seconds away from that altitude, it chirps at you, comes up, gives you a, an oral alert, uh, audio alert, and then uh, we also will put a little chevron, um, sorry, a little uh, uh, magenta trend line on the altimeter tape as you're climbing or descending, and that gives you a, where, a reference of where you're going to be at in six seconds down to the middle here, kind of what, what separates the uh, attitude from the HSI, and that's our air data information. So your air, air data information here, in this case we're doing 210 true, ground speed's 189, uh, OAT's minus 5, wind directions uh, out of uh, 003 at 59 knots, and uh, altimeter's 29, 2991, that needs to be uh, 2992. So I'll to change the barrel, you just hit the barrel, and I'll dial in whatever barrel uh, the current altimeter setting is. So uh, that's we're above uh, flight in the flight levels here, it's uh, 2992. So we're going to come down and uh, look at the take a look at the HSI. On our HSI, it is, uh, of course, fully slaved and also uh, auto slewed so that uh, auto course, so that you'll automatically set the course based on whatever's in the uh, GPS. Uh, and our course is the green course arrow here. Our CDI line is the uh, uh, little lever line here back and forth. This little diamond on top of the green course arrow is our track bug, what we're tracking across the ground. I'm gonna over here on the left hand side, we're going to take a look at the, uh, uh, this is our next active waypoint. So in this case, I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, Gulf Shores, uh, Juliet, Kilo, Kilo Alpha. And it's 080 degrees, 1,369 miles. I'm going to be there in 7 hours and 15 minutes. So i got a long time to talk to you guys. Uh, come over here. Uh, again, the A beside the CRS is auto course. I mean, it's automatically set to 080. Uh, heading uh, what our heading is here, 064. And our uh, heading is in GPSS mode. Come down uh, on these soft keys on the right hand side. We have uh, I have five soft keys, and those have different functions, which I'll go over in a uh, future in, in the f a future presentation. So we're going to come down here um, and go through uh, GPSS. That's just activated and deactivated by pushing in on the soft key. Barrow, like I said before, you push in on it, you can set your barrow. Two nine nine two. Come across the bottom here. Uh, we have three these three buttons across the bottom and the middle. Uh, the two on the outside are your RMIs, and the one in the middle is your source selector. Um, so we can, if we push one of the RMIs, it's going to go through what our different sources are. So we've got GPS one, VOR one, GPS two, and VOR two. And I would have the same thing with uh, the other RMI. But the needles, notice the needles filled in with that RMI. On the other RMI, it's clear. Like so.
All right, so that gives you a brief overview of what the uh, Aspen Avionics EFD-1000 Pro is. Please come back and check in later for some more uh, videos. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.